My name's David Litt. I used to be a speechwriter for President Obama. It was 2011 and I was 24 years old. So I had just been at the White House for four weeks. Maybe you've seen the White House correspondence dinners, the, the joke monologues uh, on TV. Mahalo. This was my big chance to be the new guy, show everybody what I could do. I sent in all these jokes. The joke I was the most proud of, Tim Pawlenty sounds all American, but have you heard his real name? Tim Bin Laden Pawlenty. It doesn't sound so funny when I tell it, but it made it into the first draft of the script, and I was really excited about this. And then the day of the speech, I get a draft back. This time, the draft has changed my joke, and it now says, uh, have you heard Tim Pawlenty's real middle name, Tim Hosni Pawlenty? Hosni Mubarak had just been deposed as kind of the Egyptian president strongman in the Arab Spring. And I remember thinking, okay, I'm the new guy here. I'm not sure about most things, but I am absolutely sure about this joke. Because Bin Laden has kind of a nice ring to it as a joke thing. You know, the, you have that hard sound in the middle and then these kind of two rhyming sounds on either side. And Hosni is just terrible. It's flabby. It's got the same connotations like shampoo. It's just not a good word for a joke. I feel absolutely sure that Barack Obama's team needs my opinion. I composed this paragraph long email about why Bin Laden is way funnier than Hosni and why it was a mistake to change the joke. And then just at the last minute, I had this moment where I think, you know what? Maybe not. And I put my Blackberry back in my pocket and I go home and I put on my tuxedo and I go to the White House Correspondence Center for the first time ever. And this was the dinner where um, President Obama just tore into Donald Trump for all the birther stuff. All kidding aside, obviously we all know about your credentials and breadth of experience. Um, <laughs> for example, uh, no seriously, just recently in an episode of Celebrity Apprentice, and at the time, Donald Trump was sort of a object of ridicule for both Democrats and Republicans. So the entire room thought this was hilarious. Trump turned kind of like a red, angry blister of a person. So I was enjoying it, but I couldn't shake Hosni. The president had delivered my joke. Tim Pawlenty, he seems all American, but if you heard his real middle name? He used this new version of it. Tim Hosni Pawlenty? What a shame. And it didn't really work. It fell kind of flat. I mean, I was right. Bin Laden was the way funnier way to go. The next day, I went to a music festival in Maryland and totally forgot about work. I just tried to, to forget that I was pretending to be a grown-up at the White House all the time. And we drove back to DC. I was sitting in the back seat and my Blackberry buy rates. I see the email and it says, remarks of President Barack Obama on the death of Osama Bin Laden and suddenly I realize what it means to work in the White House, even if you're just writing jokes. And I am very glad that I did not hit send on that email.